There you go. That's I don't... what I'm talking about, man. Sometimes you're not gonna feel right, you're not gonna feel ready, but load the bar up, hit some sets, and you're gonna feel like 100% better. I'm hyped now. What's up, everyone? Welcome to episode six. We've got a lot of great content in here today. A lot of people are asking me, hey, like, what do you do for abs? Especially me, you know, I have blockier abs. You can kind of see here, like, this is my ab structure. When I'm a little more full, this is me when I'm a little more lean. Like, what do I do for ab training? And the truth is, usually the less I do, the better my abs look, I've tended to find. Um, when I do really heavy powerlifting is when my abs come the most dialed in. Like, anytime I'm powerlift heavy, you know, they're just in there, they're feeling nice. And the reason for that is abdominal bracing. So can you have a belt it's so you can get that inter-abdominal pressure? Uh, so when I'm hitting my deadlifts, right, I'm bracing those abs really tight, I'm fighting my torso leaning. When I'm squatting, I'm bracing my abs, fighting that lean. So by doing active compounds, you can develop your abs amazingly if you're lifting heavy. Saying so, I do like the little accessory work, and here are my favorite things to really make them pop. But before we do that, we're gonna show you our deadlifts today. You know, we're feeling it, we're feeling a little beat up, but we're not making any excuses. Jumping into a quick three by three, let's get it. So this is a really interesting situation. It's kind of a test of our mental fortitude, dead serious, because like we're working out here, we're like both not using headphones right now because the music's pretty loud. There's classes going on. Uh, you know, we're trying not to get demonetized. It's a whole battle. But nonetheless, like usually when you compete, you're not in control of what music's playing, what situation's playing. So it's not necessarily a bad idea to challenge yourself and you know learn to get fired up and focus in different situations. Um, saying so though, I do prefer my music generally, but here and there, it's good to mix it up. Let's get it. Let's go. Taking care of business, buddy. Oh, I was gonna say that. Ah. So one of the biggest mistakes I see within the deadlift is a lot of people just go up to the bar, even if it's a heavier weight, they're like fired up, they go right here and then just rip it, right? So you don't actually get proper bracing and actual, actual proper breathing behind the brace. So the best way to approach it is, and this is why having a strong core is so important and why using a belt is very important, is when you're approaching the bar, you wanna be able to just breathe in and out properly. At that point, you wanna flex your abs, abs of this, as if Josh and myself is about to punch it and from that point, make sure you're able to breathe while having your abs nice and braced. Keep it tight the entire time. If you're just like letting your core go out and just like your breathing goes all wonky, then you're gonna really mess your back up and that's how you lose a lot of tightness with the squat, the bench press, and the deadlift. So that's one thing you can keep in mind. So as you can see here, what I'm essentially doing is taking a huge breath. I do this weird hand thingy. I don't know why I find it centers myself and I can really you know, just position myself by that bar. When I take a big grip and then from here, big breath, loading in my hamstrings, pushing my abs against that belt, getting that inter-abdominal pressure. So your abdominal flexion is what's gonna stop you from your chest tipping forward and you essentially, you know, turning it into a two-part lift. So we wanna maximize our bar path, have it coming straight up and back. And the way I do that is all through flexion. Holding your breath through the whole lift, that's where the deadlift's weird. And then at the top, I'm breathing behind that brace like Kyle said, you know, locking out, pushing into those abs, standing up strong, squeezing those glutes, coming down, big breath, reset. Uh, that's all it is when it comes down to it. But being mindful is how you're gonna be successful. You know, don't just go and just don't think about it. You need to be hyper aware of your abs and your breathing. A little slower than I like, but you take what's there. Step up for the next one. If you're watching this video and you're looking for someone to basically take control of your fitness journey and just help streamline and make it as easy as possible for you to reach your goals in as little time as possible, um, hit us up. First link in the description, we help you with your nutrition, your workout plan, and then your lifestyle and accountability. So it's kind of all bundled into one package. Um, I believe that we can help pretty much anybody who's looking to get in the best shape of their life, especially in 2020. Uh, we're just super excited. We're taking on a few more clients. So hit us up if you want uh, someone to help you out. So real quick, we're gonna show you three of our favorite exercises. This is my favorite, this is the cable ab crunch. I really like this for powerlifting. I really like this for my ab strength in general. I find I can get an amazing burn. You know, I like to go 15 to 20 reps for these always. I'm not gonna spend the time teaching you how to do them because they're kind of tough to learn. Um, saying so, I have an amazing tutorial that will teach you everything I know. Second link in the description down below. Definitely check that out after this video. We also have a free form guide. Uh, it's in the description of this video as well. It'll be somewhere in there, you'll see form guide uh, with like 40 exercises laid out. You know, 
personal trainer pocket. Should be selling it for like 40 bucks, but it's free. So go ahead, take advantage of that. Now let me show you how I do these bad boys. Yeah, buddy. So you're just kneeling, pulling this, trying to relax your neck a bit, curling, like you're a bird eating a worm, squeezing the abs. Really breathe to engage those abs. Push the oxygen. Be really dramatic with the breathing once again. You know, you're pushing all the airflow, all the oxygen. You're really gonna feel the burn, and that's how you can get some nice, big, blocky looking, strong abs. Number two, this is one of my personal favorites uh, ab rollout. So, if you have access to an ab wheel, that works great. But this is something most of you probably have access to. You can roll it on a 10, a 25, I've got a 45 plate on the side. And I like this especially because it also targets your upper body, okay? So, it's not just core, but you have to really test the shoulder strength, the stability within the entire upper body to pull yourself back. So, for this one here, you're just gonna allow yourself to fully go forward as far as you are comfortable okay you don't want to fall face first hold it for a second and then really engage the core bring it back just about uh, underneath your shoulders and then just all the way forward oh this one is amazing to add in and I love using it as an accessory especially for powerlifting <laughs> Gosh, it's like 135 pounds. You just have to fully bring back, really engage the core, and it's gonna build them like a crazy, I don't even know. And last but not least, we have straight leg raises, or if you can't do straight leg, leg raises, you can do knee raises, but we typically do abs like two to three times a week, and you know, a lot of times people ask, should you do them every day? I'd argue not, but anyways, that's a different uh, argument for a different day, but um, there's a bunch of different ways to do it. We'll put on the screen our number one way. It's where your back is against that little, you know, bench, and you know, it helps assist you. You can do them on the ground where you're laying down, just kind of quickly show you here, like that. And then one of my other favorites, because it actually helps build your grip, which grip is important for the deadlift, is just doing them hanging on here, a nice dead hang, and then just engage the core, and then bring your legs all the way up, okay? So it's kind of a two in one here. You're building the grip strength, you're doing a dead hang, but you're also building that core. Thank you so much for tuning in for another episode. Hopefully you're enjoying this series. I know it's been a lot of motivation for a lot of people catching up. Um, obviously powerlifting, you know, it gets a little static, squat bench dead. That's why we took some time today to have a little fun, teach you what we do for abs, teach you about abdominal bracing. So hopefully you can really remember that and utilize that in your routine. Um, so we're not gonna update too much. You know, it's more or less the same as last week, just hustling through those lifts, feeling really good. Next week we're gonna do a big upload, um, a big update, you know, we're gonna get Liam in, kinda let you know where everything's going. And then we're closing in, getting close to that comp. So smash that like if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next Monday, peace.